Welcome to OreoOlive.com. As you know, Oreo and Olives don't mix, but the abstract thought of putting those two words together has enlightened me to create a channel to discuss various topics. In today's episode, I want to ask a simple question of, uh, when's the last time that you picked up, like, you know, the paper, local paper from your city and just, you know, read through it? Um, I can say that sometimes it can get a little bit depressing because on TV, you see so much bad and negative stuff going on and everybody hates to see negative stuff. They hate negative news, but that's what people seem to like to watch is stuff that got so much violence in it. But I oftentimes like to pick up the local paper just to see what's going on within my community. Because when you look at the news, oftentimes people look at the news and see what's going on in other communities that they don't live in. But when you're looking at it within yours, you can see what's actually happening. And yes, indeed, it's not going to be, it's going to be more than, what, 24 hours old or some things that's going to be coming up in a couple of weeks. But at least you get a chance to refer back to it if you need to, you know, with the date, time and everything. And hearing something and writing something is like two completely different things. You understand it two completely different ways. But... Um, as I was reading the newspaper, I used to look at a couple of different sections in here, especially what's going on on the front uh, page. It's always some very, very interesting um, stuff, but it it allows you to kind of reread it if you don't understand it. But we oftentimes live in a society right now where sometimes people have a, a hard time reading. Uh, there are people out there that cannot read whatsoever, but they can actually listen to the news and hear it. Now, my suggestion is this. Even when you're reading the news, especially the paper, it doesn't mean that everything's going to be 100% accurate. So you definitely got to do your research. If it's something that you're interested in, double check the sources, research it even more so that you can gain an understanding whether you believe it or not. But when it's written, it's hard to delete that because a lot of people, especially the older generation, they keep newspapers around. They keep them around for ages. Uh, I remember going to one of my friend's uh, father's uh, house and man, he had paper stacked up almost to the ceiling from when he had years ago. But it comes in handy. But I think that Newspapers, yes, can help people learn how to read because they can try to figure out the words, but you got to be careful because you don't want kids to necessarily see the negativity within the uh, paper and definitely don't want to see the negativity that's on TV as well. But I'm definitely an advocate for looking at the uh, news in terms of in the paper, reading about things that's going on, whether it's the, you know, the bankruptcies that's going on in the back or real estate that may be available, you know, in there, classified as people selling things. People, I mean, they actually still sell stuff. I mean, just just looking like in the back of the paper. Um, now, I know things are kind of cutting down right now because people, more people are going digital um, and it's not many people are getting paper and they're kind of cutting it down to where they're only getting it a few times throughout the, um, you know, every other week or so. But, I mean from legal information to employment. Um, people say, hey, I can't find a job. You know, nobody's hiring in the city. Well, I can tell you now, when you look in the paper, in the back in the classifieds, it's got a section in there that says employment. And there are places that are hiring. Looking for an apartment, there's some information in there with that. You're looking for legal in terms of foreclosures, that information is in there. Yes, you can find it online by simply Googling it from your phone within a few seconds. But it's something I just like old school about. Just taking the paper, sitting back, reading it on a nice, beautiful day outside. So give it a try. Like, listen, subscribe. We're all in .com. Let me know what you think. Let me know whether or not you're the type of person who likes to read the paper. Uh, if you do or don't, let me know your thoughts. Because I'm very interested in hearing that.